a line through the point 2 comma negative 2 is tangent to function f at the point negative 2 comma 6. What is f prime of negative 2? I think the easiest way to solve this is to make a quick sketch. So let's draw our x, y axes and let's think about what we know. A line through the point 2 comma negative 2, so that's the point right here, is tangent to function f at the point negative 2 comma 6. So that would be up here. So those two points give us a line with a certain slope. So draw that in. It doesn't have to be perfect. A rough sketch should be fine. And we know that this line is tangent to function f at this point. So function f is some curve in the plane that is tangent to this line, or this line is tangent to the function at that point. So I can draw in a, a curve coming from the left or from the right. It doesn't really matter. Just draw in something that's basically tangent at that point. And that, that, that curve is function f, and it's tangent right there. So that means that the slope of that line is the slope of the function at that point. And that's what we're looking for, the slope at that point. So we just need to find the slope of the line, and that, that's the answer to the question. So the slope is just y2 minus y1, that would be negative 2 minus 6, over x2 minus x1, that's 2 minus negative 2. So that's negative 8 over 4, which is negative 2. So that's not a hard problem at all. You just have to understand that the slope of a function at any point is the same as the slope of the line that is tangent to the function at that point. And then again, drawing a sketch is extremely helpful to see what's going on with the function and the slope and helps you understand the problem more clearly. So a little sketch like this shouldn't take that long to draw and you can see very clearly the rise and the run and calculate the slope.